you're going into London, you commute into London where, where everyone else is going. And there's a massive like parade, I guess. That's how we used to call it, the, the morning parade. Everyone going to work. But it also, you know, has the night sort of life as well. You know, that six in the morning, leaving the clubs, everyone in this weird sort of horrible state. So yeah, it kind of crosses over the two. Yeah. Been waiting my whole life for you to come and waste a while out in the dark. But when you never see me in the sweet time space, been going out my mind. What gotta bring you back? The early foundations of Morning Parade. Um, I went to school with the bass player. We used to go around and jam like Muse covers and stuff like that when we were in school. And uh, I met the guitarist Travin on 16 at college, and we were all cutting kind of bands around the local area. And uh, we decided to get together on a Saturday afternoons and just get a crate of beer and jam. And then all of our first songs were rubbish, and then we wrote some ones that were all right, so we started playing gigs. <laughs> I don't think we fit into the British music scene at all. Um, I don't think we're part of any scene, like, which kind of on our own, which is uh, it's actually a little bit tough, you know, if you don't want to join the pack, it's, uh, it's hard to kind of squeeze in between those other bands and the playlists and the radios in the magazines but um, we can't really deny what we are so we just have to continue. Uh, our first actual single that we did in the UK um, is uh, Under the Stars. Um, that was actually the first song we recorded. Um, Originally a Damon Albarn studio at 13. And, um, yeah, that's a you know that that kind of sums us up almost in with just one track. It's got all of the elements of the morning parade in it. Um, so that's that's a big track. That's a big track for me. It's my favourite. Um, yeah, it's kind of like become our calling card a little bit in Europe. So and uh, I'm sure it'll get released here as well. album is out in Europe now and it comes out over here on the 19th of June um, and it's kind of I think the kind of crazy thing is most bands have their whole lives to write their first album but it's kind of turned out that we wrote most of it in the last 18 months and we you know as I said we've been in band we've been jamming for a long time um, and we really kind of found our stride over the last 18 months and wrote a lot of songs pretty quickly so the album's a real kind of mixture it's, it's intense it's got a lot of energy it's very very uh, it's, you know it's hard on the sleeve it's honest and um, it's got a lot of ups and downs in it, but it's a positive like, record, so it's an upbeat record. I mean, sometimes how we start um, writing songs is it actually, is, they're just jams, like, I mean, almost like old school how we used to write. I mean, they start off with these sort of 10 minute long jams that we record on a little Zoom mic. And then they slowly, bit by bit, as you rehearse them, they get cut down, you sort of polish off little bits, find new, find new ways to go. So no, yeah. There's no sort of structure really. It's just about having fun and exploring. I think that's what music's about. The song we closed with in the set was Born Alone. And um, that actually closes the album as well. Um, and it, again, um, it, it, it builds up. It's a building song. It, it's, you can explain, yeah, you wrote the lyrics. It's a real kind of positive song. It kind of, I think we wrote it on a very sunny summer afternoon when we just signed the deal. Everyone was in like super high spirits and uh, we, we kind of got to a point in our lives where we really understood ourselves and knew what we wanted to be. It was kind of, kind of summed that up. So, yeah, it's kind of a, uh, it sums up the whole record. Finally here, and um, we, we started off with the Kicks in New York. Went to New Haven, Providence, Providence, right? Yeah, Rhode Island. Yeah, and then uh, 
Then we did a little bit in uh, Toronto, Canada. We did some MTV stuff, which is really nice. And uh, now we're here, at South by it, and uh, absolutely loving it. It's, yeah, it's amazing. It's like everything we could have hoped for. I love it here. I've been in so many bands, like where you just write songs because you feel like you have to, or you know, you get in a room with a bunch of guys and they're like, hey, we have to get a deal, or hey, it sucks. It's just you, you, know, you. I tried it and it sucks. So I think our primary concern with Morning Ray was to make music we love playing and that we can enjoy and that we believe it. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, you can't go on stage and have any conviction in delivering what you're doing. Hi, we're Morning Parade and you're watching Babel Music. Oh, yeah.